Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to check a few cool cars I managed to find lately, a special series and a few older ones which I found surprisingly. The first one is this Volkswagen Golf GTI which you probably know it's my favorite casting. This is from 2019. I didn't have this one, I won it on Facebook and I think I paid $7 for it. And yes, it might be, uh, it might be a lot, but a regular Hot Wheel costs uh, three dollars in the store, so I paid seven dollars for this one. It's my favorite, so yeah, uh, that's a good price for me. The Bat Plane, which is a fantasy one, and I usually don't collect um, other castings besides uh, cars, uh, so. This one, uh, it's in my collection only because it's from Batman. So everything from Batman, it's a, it's a must have, right? Pretty sure uh, most of you agree with this one. And we have the C8R, which if, if you have seen uh, some of my previous videos, I have already found it. So this is a double. It's, it's always good to trade. If you get a double, it's nothing wrong. Wrong is when you get 10, 20, 30, you get all of them you find, and you don't leave anything behind for other collectors. This is a very nice one. It doesn't have too many details, like um, it doesn't have no backlights. Only the front one, uh, ones, which I think um, they're part of the windshield. So the piece that has uh, the windshield, it's also part of the uh, front lights which is cool so definitely this is a this is a nice piece to have in the collection uh, the grey version it's already out probably guys already have it especially the collectors in USA you already have it in the stores so I'm gonna wait for that here uh, sometimes we don't get all the mixes but I do hope we get that one then we have another color variation of the McLaren Speedtail this one doesn't have too many front, uh, front details, it only has the Corvette logo, uh, the McLaren logo, nothing, oh yeah, we have back details, we have backlights, and the Speedtail uh, logo, another color variation, I don't need to have all the color variations, uh, but for the ones I like, I do, I do get them, usually what I collect are new models, and white cars but again the ones that i do like i will get uh, all the color variations i find exactly as i said white cars so i bought the 19 corvette cr1 convertible and this is a very nice casting which i think i have um, most of the color variations so far so we have the corvette this time it's the corvette logo we have the front lights we have back the uh, back lights so we have back and front details on it. So I'm not sure how um, uh, the people at Motel do choose the details on the cars. Because some have none and some have uh, the ones that everybody wants. Like uh, back and front details. So I'm not sure how they make these uh, decisions. But I'm glad they, they did it on this one. And the 67 uh, Camaro which this one probably know it's the new tooling because uh, this particular casting used to be metal on metal and it had an opening hood that's how it uh, used to be uh, made this one I'm not sure exactly what year they've changed but it was one of the few castings that was uh, metal on metal and uh, an opening feature which in this case opening hood I managed to pick a few treasure hunts Obviously on short cards and I got this uh, from a collector. There is a collector friend around here who does help me from time to time with these. Uh, he gets them for me and he doesn't ask more than what they are um, actually priced at in the store. So he doesn't add uh, anything extra. This is the custom 77 Dodge van. Which actually it's a very cool treasure hunt for this year. And the Skull Shaker, which for me it's not that interesting. I like the Bone Shaker, but this version, which is the Skull Shaker, 
obviously the name is because of that little guy inside there uh, it's not one that I really like I'm kind of thinking of not completing the treasure hunt set uh, starting from the next year this year was a good year for the treasure hunts but usually usually they're not that great anymore their choices when it comes to treasure hunts are not that great because most of them are fantasy castings and um, this is a car that everybody was after this is the 2019 version or the 2018 version because you can see it's 2017 on the package so that means it's one year later which is 2018 it's the Bugatti Chiron which I could definitely not be able to find in the stores and in 2018 um, I was kind of uh, skipping the collecting scene I wasn't collecting that much uh, back then that's a subject for another uh, for another video it has front details it has nothing on the back but still it's a nice casting I, as you can see it's on a long card and I have it from the same uh, collector friend I don't know if it ever happened to you to just uh, store uh, some hurdles away and just forget about them a few years actually well that happened to me and I managed to find about uh, eight Hattles cards from around 2010 2011 I stored them in a in a box with um, with a few cards because a while back I I was um, opening all my Hot Wheels besides the treasure hunts because I never opened a treasure hunt so I was opening all my Hot Wheels but I was saving the cards one of these days I, I remembered about these cards I was searching for them and in the box with these cards um, I managed to find a few cards at Hot Wheels that I forgot about I'm not mistaken but I think are at least 7 years since I went through that box and one of those was the Nissan 350Z the 2010 new models has a little code inside obviously <laughs> that code can never be used because it's in the packaging but this Nissan actually has a, has a variation I have uh, another version which is opened so I'm not sure exactly how accurate this information is but this is uh, this one I opened it so it should be accurate as you can see there is a variation on it because the bottom one has the doorknob and which I th I'm thinking it's the uh, it's the light signal it, it has them uh, colored while the uh, top one doesn't but if you look behind the top one has the 350Z logo and name on it while the bottom one does not so that is a variation right so probably someone that collects variations can confirm this information obviously I have the top one open so I did not paint them uh, somebody else did not either but still they must be in the packaging for the information to be accurate so the bottom one has the doorknob and the signal light uh, um, colored it has details on them while the top one has the 350Z uh, name and logo the logo is a bit off but still it's there while the bottom one does not so this is a this is a neat variation who knew that uh, Ferrari cars are gonna become so highly collectible and desirable well it happened in 2016 when uh, Hattles lost the licensing for the Ferrari cars 2015 or 2016 I think 2015 was the last year they made Ferrari cars so right now I only have the cards of a few Ferrari cars if I can uh, uh, repackage them I'm not, I do not care of uh, reselling them but I might uh, do that for me uh, for myself to keep them in my collection uh, packaged carded also this Gallardo uh, new models it was the white variation which was very nice and the Ferrari another really cool uh, Ferrari car which now is highly collectible 
so yeah sometimes i guess it's uh it's neat to keep these uh, these cards even if you don't repackage them or you just keep them like this it's nice to have um, uh, the artwork and you have the information like what it was a new model or what part of the series unless you want to go online and you can find all that information uh, there and part of those were, um, were also a few cars as i said about eight of them one of them being this um, aston martin 177 which is the regular silver um, silver color variation but this one has um, red line uh, red lines on the tires I might be mistaken but I think uh, these red line uh, tires were um, exclusive to one store while I'm not sure about this one about this one I'm positively that this is an exclusive to one sh one store it's the 62 Chevy and it's exclusive because it has the windshield uh, tempo as you can see it has it says uh, hot wheels on the windshield it doesn't say on the card so it's not part of the normal series but it was exclusive to one store i don't remember which store probably walmart or kmart or i'm, I'm not sure uh, the store but this must be an exclusive one because they never put uh, tempos on the screens and the windshield other ones are the red bird from the angry birds which I also have the, the shirt card the 71 Dodge Challenger which um, both of these are from uh, 2012 so as you can see on the long cards the Team Hattles drivers they had a theme going on uh, in that year and the theme was the Team Hattles drivers on the long cards they were just appearing on the top of the logo while on the short cards it was um, usually one driver chosen so because this is a blue series blue card it was the blue driver chosen on the card i was not a fan of that graphic i don't have too many hotels with this kind of graphic from that year but still this is what they had going on so still nice to have another short card was the custom volkswagen beetle it's from 2011 a very neat little casting I mean who doesn't like the Beatles uh, no matter what variations uh, and what versions they are they're very neat to have and the last two I found were the new models Dodge Red Express pickup I don't usually collect pickups but uh, in trucks but actually this one is really fun and it's a new model so why not and the 2011 can block Ford Fiesta in white. I'm not sure why I, why I put this one away. I'm probably glad I did because otherwise I would have opened it. It's white variation, so yeah. It's exactly what I collect. As I also said in the beginning of the video, we also have a special series. And it's the quarter mile finals. Which you probably know uh, this is also a store exclusive. I think it's a Walmart exclusive in USA well we don't have Walmarts here but we got this and I'm happy I'm happy we did because all of them are nice so we have the McLaren Senna it is a special series so we have some details like back details no front ones but still we have the Aventador Miura homage with some front details and a bit of a bit of behind details very nice on the back it shows you the whole set so there are five of them these are two and another two of them obviously because it started to be the same thing as you guys have over there in usa some cars are harder to find than others so the impossible one to find in this set is the Bugatti Veyron the new tooling and the new version of the Bugatti Veyron everybody gets them uh, if you go to the store and the pegs are full with this uh, set the, the first that goes there will obviously get all the Veyrons and then resell them at triple the price so the other two are the Porsche 911, 918 Spider 
we have front details but no back details and uh, 2011 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon they didn't made any kind of details on it unfortunately so the set is nice all of them are nice in this set I am gonna try to find the Veyron uh, hopefully I, I will be able to until then thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video with everything I found uh, older and new ones and the special series I hope you're having fun and more luck than I am I have so yeah let me know in the comment section below what did you find interesting lately and what's the impossible card to find uh, to find in your stores